Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA 6 video. My name is Saints Fan, and today we're going to be talking about some of the first leaked GTA 6 information that is more than likely true. This is coming from a leak, not actually necessarily about GTA 6, it's coming from a leak about the PS5. And at the time when this leak happened, which was last December, no one thought anything of it because some of the stuff was just like, really, like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense about the PS5. But what got super interesting was this past week, a couple days ago, Wired.com put out an exclusive interview with Sony's uh, like head person where they talked about the PS5. And in this confirmed interview, this exclusive interview, some of the features that were leaked in December of 2018 were confirmed in this interview. And because some of those PS5 features were confirmed, then that's what got people looking at some of the other things that were leaked, including GTA 6. I will leave all of the links in the description below. I'll leave a link to the wired Sony's next gen PlayStation interview. If you want to check that out, it's kind of an interesting read just to see like sort of what's going to be happening with the PS5. I will, of course, leave a link to the leaked paste bin information post. But taking a look at the actual leaked information, this is what was written about GTA 6. And this was under the non-exclusive PS5 Games 2020 section. And it included Battlefield Bad Company 3, which actually that sounds awesome. That's a true game. Harry Potter, GTA 6, Assassin's Creed, and then Horizon 2, which apparently would so far be in 2021. But getting to the GTA 6 part, it says that it would be coming out most probably the holiday season of 2020 so next year around christmas basically a year and a half from now the person who leaked this was not hearing anything ps4 related but and this is another super crazy thing he was hearing that sony was paying a huge amount of money to secure a one month timed exclusive for the ps5 also he was hearing rumors about miami and new york city so two big cities, but he does say he isn't 100% sure if that is true. And if you are curious, by the way, who was leaking this information, the first part of it, he says he's a third party small developer from the EU. And for the last eight months, he's been helping a well-known company in the AAA game development world that is set to release in 2020 as a launch game for the PS5. And he does say most of the information that he's leaked is about 99% correct, but that's what he was saying about the PS5. And if you actually go through and read some of the leaked information about the PS5 and compare it to that wired interview that is confirmed from the head of Sony, this guy's leak has some legitimacy. Now, before we talk more about the GTA 6 part from his leak, there's one other thing that was interesting just to sort of confirm GTA 6 happening and everything relating to it. Fun MW2 found a former junior vehicle artist who worked at Rockstar that had mentioned that he worked on creating concept vehicles for GTA Lines DLCs and GTA 6. And this guy actually was also mentioned in the Red Dead Redemption 2 thank you page. So that also gives some legitimacy to this. But you can see on his I or his LinkedIn page, he had this under experience Rockstar Games India from December 2017 to April 2018. And then on his experience on his like profile or his portfolio page, the underneath the bottom part, he created concept vehicles matching with real world for GTA 5 DLC and upcoming GTA 6. And then here was just another example from GTA Online. Obviously, that's the, the Mitchell E GT. And I would imagine that's one of the cars that he helped design. And what is really interesting about this, once people found this, if you go to these pages, you can't find it anymore. It was all deleted. So again, that's just some more legitimacy to all of this situation. Now, GTA 6, now that we know it's obviously being worked on, I mean, we kind of knew that. That's, that's kind of a given. But man, 
two major things that were leaked that are possibly going to be happening. Number one, it's coming out next year. I think that that's the one that is like truly the hardest to believe just because Rockstar, when they announce and release games, they usually announce the game like two years plus prior to releasing it. And if it truly does come out next year around the holidays, so about maybe November or October or so, then I mean, they that's only like a month or a couple months in a year from release. And Rockstar obviously have not said anything about GTA 6, so that they'd be breaking their sort of style when it comes to releasing games. Now maybe they want to do what some other game developers are doing and just announce it and then release it a couple months later. But I, I don't see that happening because that's that's just not Rockstar. That's not what Rockstar really do. At least with games. They do that with DLC, but not with games. The other huge leaked bit of information was that it was going to be featuring two cities, New York and Miami. So, like, I mean, granted, I know there's some people out there who would love to visit some other cities in America versus these two that we've already been to. But if they truly are doing New York City, Liberty City, and Miami City or Vice City, then I mean, that that sounds like an awesome game right there. Obviously, there's the whole rumor of GTA VI for six would be Vice City. I mean, that would tie in it perfectly. And then maybe going up to New York City. So you get two different environments and that would I think lend itself to some really awesome opportunities. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, what do you think about having GTA 6 be in two different cities. I wonder what that means for the story. Like, is it just one main character? Are they going to go back to that? Or are we now going to have the same as GTA 5, three characters or potentially even more? Maybe uh, only two characters, one in each city. How are we going to travel between the cities? Like, how is online going to work? Like, there's a whole bunch of questions this leads to. And it's just, it's really exciting to sort of get somewhat of an idea about the game. And then the other, the third thing that's, I mean, it, it sucks for sure, but I think it was sort of inevitable at a certain point. Sony apparently is going to be paying a ton of money to secure a one month timed exclusive for the PS5 for GTA 6. I mean, that, that is crazy. If the game itself is a one month timed exclusive, I think that'll be, that, that may be one of the first times this has ever been done. But that's such a interesting choice, I'll say, for people who aren't on the PS4 or PS5 when when that comes out. You know, from PC or Xbox One or Xbox Two, whatever will be at that time, that's gonna suck. You're not gonna be able to play GTA 6 for one whole month. Like let's just say it comes out on the PS5 September 15th, and then it comes out for everything else on October 15th. Sony did something similar with Red Dead Online. Red Dead Online gets all of its DLCs, I believe, a month earlier. But that's just DLCs for online. That, that wasn't the game itself. So that'll be a, a very interesting thing to see if Rocks would truly go, go through that. Because I think there, there'd be a lot of backlash for a certain amount of time if something like that were to happen. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Again, check out the, the information for yourself if you don't believe me for some reason. This is one of the more legitimate leaks regarding GTA 6. And again, it wasn't really necessarily even about GTA 6. It was about PS5, but GTA 6 is definitely being worked on. And clearly it's being worked on for the PS5. And that's how everything ties together. So do you think that GTA 6 truly is coming out next year in 2020? That's the only thing that's sort of iffy on me. I think the cities part, that makes total sense. Miami and New York, those are cities Rockstar have experience with. And even though it's not new cities, which I think a lot of us maybe want, it, it's I think it's maybe good that they focus on cities they already know and can explore more with. But yeah, the 2020 thing, that's the only thing that's maybe a little iffy. Hell, maybe it was scheduled for 2020, but we all know Rockstar like their delays. So internally, while it was scheduled for 2020, when this whole thing was leaked, you know, it could have been delayed to 2021 or God forbid 2022 instead. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. If there's any more information regarding this, as always, I will be sure to let you guys know. So subscribe if you're new around here and look out for any more GTA 6 videos in the future. 
Thank you all for watching, though. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.